Okay, next up is um, um, Robin Sullivan, uh, coming from uh, Buffalo, came all the way from Buffalo. A long, long ride apparently, uh, but worth it hopefully. And she's going to talk to us about a couple of topics here. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Robin Sullivan, and as Don said, I am an instructional designer with the University of Buffalo, um, our Center for Educational Innovation. I am also talking to you today on behalf of the entire SUNY system to just give you a little bit of a taste, a little bit, of what we're doing in Badgets. Um, so the um, new chancellor of SUNY system has um, put badges on a top of her priority list. And they were in our, um, uh, we had a task force throughout um, the past year that has come up with a number of policies and resources um, regarding digital badges. You can go to that website and it is a rich set of um, professional development webinars you can listen to and um, definitions. People were saying, you know, what is a uh, open badge? You can, I don't know if they're accurate definitions, but we've, uh, you know, tried to deliberate on what they should say. Um, <clears throat> the University of Buffalo has also instituted the um, Office of Micro-Credentials. I think we're one of the first um, institutions that have um, something of that sort. And um, I did uh, had some Wi-Fi issues on the bus with my platform, so actually these bullet points will be updated later. Um, but the definition that UB gives for the micro-credentials that are being going through our office um, they are smaller than a minor um, or a certificate or a program, um, but they help a learner showcase their achievements um, and the knowledge that they acquired on their academic career. The, uh, one of the projects that I've been most closely tied to, I was on the task force for both UB and SUNY. Um, this project, I left some cards on each of the tables, um, exploring emerging technologies for lifelong learning and success. It is a SUNY-sponsored Coursera-based MOOC, um, but it also has a complementary wiki database that has um, emerging technologies that are freely available that can be used um, to go through the uh, modules in the MOOC that focus on 21st century skills, um, communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. Um, it's freely available. Um, if you want the, uh, you get all the digital badges for free, um, going through the MOOC and completing the requirements, building a portfolio. Um, the Coursera certificate is still a minor fee, but just the badge can be printed as a certificate now, thank you. Um, <clears throat> the, um, the goal of the um, EM Tech MOOC is to identify the value and implications of using emerging technologies, both for personal and professional growth and to look at lifelong learning strategies. We talked about um, growth mindset and um, understanding creative commons, all of those ideas. Um, here's just a constellation um, of the badge structure. And as of uh, November, there was about 1,300 um, badges that were issued. This project, Tools of Engagement, is the precursor to the MOOC. So five years before, this was not offered as a MOOC, but it was offered a SUNY-wide strictly for faculty. The EM tech is for anybody. So faculty and students are learning together. And alumni and anybody in the world that needs to pull all those uh, technology skills to communicate. Um, Quality by Design is a faculty development um, Blackboard course, more on uh, course design, that also has a badging structure. It um, was originally um, initiated through UB, but offered through SUNY. Um, here's our badge structure for that. Notice that the top ones for the modules and the smaller ones are issued through the Blackboard course management system and not shareable. The larger I completed the course and I've been a mentor in the course, those are Credly badges and shareable through social networks, which is a big quality of what makes a badge a badge. Here are some uh, quotes that um, some of the faculty in the Tools of Engagement project mentioned. Um, some of the community college faculty were able to have um, the 
participation in these programs considered when they went up for tenure. It's, you know, we have 64 campuses in SUNY, so everybody does everything very, very different. Um, but in my experiences looking at badges over the years, I do see that faculty, students, everybody loves the badges. If you're a little late getting them the badge, where's my badge? Um, and, but it has also increased. So, you know, at first, you know, I was also one of those skeptics, um, no longer. Um, and then uh, final slide, um, EM Tech MOOC is open to everyone, no matter where you are in this world. Um, please uh, go back to the site that I shared, share the announcement that is on the site. And my challenge is how can SUNY and all of us um, share info about digital badge learning opportunities. So kind of the opposite. How do we let the employers be more aware? You need to let the learners be aware of the badges also. So thank you so much.